Howdy folks, we're going to get started with Adobe Animate today, so let's just open it up here. I'm leaving my desktop on this time so you can see uh, the window that pops up. My Animate, again, is, is slightly different at home than yours is going to be when your, uh, yours pops up on your screen at school, but uh, the principles are basically the same, just the opening screen is different. So uh, Animate is a uh, animation program that used to be based on Adobe Flash, um, but it's fairly simple, but as we'll see, things are never as simple as we want them to be. So we're going to create a new animation here, and we're actually going to create it in this uh, action script um, uh, platform because it just makes it easier to preview, and we can always export it to something different if we need to. And we're going to go ahead and create that at a pixel count that's easy. Uh, so an easy uh, pixel count is going to be a HD screen. So an HD screen is 1920 by 1080 pixels. You might recognize those numbers, but if you don't, just put in 1920 by 1080 pixels and press create. It'll take a couple seconds to create here. There we go. Familiar, um, familiar layout to an Adobe program, except that tools might go on the right over here instead of going on the left over here like they usually do. Uh, and then we have some new elements as well, which I'll talk you through today. So this big white box here in the middle is called our stage. Our stage is what is our animations, our characters. Uh, our drawings, our words are going to go onto the stage here. You can actually click on the stage and you can change the color of it over here with this here. I like to work with a beige stage. I don't know why. I just like saying beige stage. Um, you'll notice here on the uh, the tools on the side, you get your usual tools here, your lasso tool, your uh, text tool, shape tool, pen tool kind of thing. There's a few other tools that we'll be talking about as well. Um, uh, so let's just go ahead and draw something with a uh, square. So we'll go in here, or you can change the stroke to black, fill to, I don't know, a lovely pink color, and we can draw a pink box on our beige stage. Isn't that lovely looking? Okay, let's go ahead and click on the black selection arrow. Press V to do that as well. Uh, and click on our square we just created and move it. And immediately you see some of the differences in the way that Animate works, especially with its shapes to the other Adobe programs. It's not the same. It didn't move the uh, outline. It decided to leave that where it was and move the square. This is just an example of how Adobe Animate is confusing. If you come from other Adobe programs, it doesn't work quite the same way. You may have to, I'm just undoing my uh, actions there. You may have to click and drag over the whole box to get the whole thing to move. And I'll give you another example here. Uh, duplicated it by accident. Uh, if I draw a circle now, let's create a circle of a different color, uh, green, and let's just turn the stroke off completely with that little red stroke there. Circle, and we'll draw a circle right here, holding down shift to lock it. And then we have a circle here, and I can press V to go to my black selection arrow and move the circle and you see it's taken a big chunk out of my square because whatever shape that you draw it's layered on top of the shape that you had there and uh, it ends up replacing it so it's, it creates a sort of like 2D, 2D space and you don't necessarily want that so shapes are confusing in Adobe Animate and you'll just get used to it. It's actually very helpful in Animate to import things from other programs uh, like Photoshop or Illustrator and we'll learn how to do that in another video. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select everything and delete it and uh, talk to you about the various things we have on our um, window here. So like I said, we have the, the panel here. This is a, a properties panel right here. You can see it here. Actually, I'm gonna reset my workspace to look like yours will. Uh, you can always do this if things get messed up on yours. I'm gonna go to workspaces, reset essentials, Boom, there, that looks like yours. Okay, so I'll grab this here and here. And now we have a circle and a square. 
And if I take my black selection arrow, I can click on them and then it tells me in my properties panel here on the right about that shape. So it tells us how big it is, where it is on my stage. If I click on something else, if I click on my stage, it's going to tell me about my stage. If I click on a frame down here in my timeline, it'll tell me about that frame. So it's really a useful tool. Uh, we're going to learn a program later this year called Unity, and this will be similar to the Inspector panel in Unity. It's a really helpful thing to just quickly uh, assess what we're looking at and make quick changes. So if I want to change this circle to be a different color, I can do that very easily with my black selection arrow and the properties panel. Uh, the timeline here, you can see here that I have everything in one layer. If I, again, want to select everything, delete it, I'm going to now take a brush tool and I'll just show you quickly here. Uh, there's some mountains and uh, I'm going to fill those mountains up. There we go. And if I put that as a layer as hills and draw a new layer here and call that layer sky I can create a sky box oops I don't want that blue let's go to my I don't want that green select it change the color to some kind of blue and on my layer panel the sky is on the top here and we want it behind so I'm gonna drag it and put it behind just like Photoshop does um, that's all I'm gonna talk about today with is setting up the program try to create a 1920 by 1080 canvas and I will come back and talk about the timeline panel next.